Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the TB and J podcast. Cross from me, Troy Birdingham. Oh my God, you're Jeff. Oh my God, I'm Jeff. Oh my God, you're Jeff. Next to me is Chris Carroll. How you doing, buddy? Who are you, people? Oh my God, you're Chris. Oh my that's God, it's Chris. That's not true. And over there is D. How you doing, buddy? You, yeah, I'm here. Thanks for coming this time, Troy. You're welcome. We watched episode two of La Moon Night. But before we get into that, I'm gonna play you some some sexy tunes. Is, is that what you fuck to? All the time. Okay. Exclusively. Interesting. Your own theme song? Mm -hmm. God. You don't think that's a little... Uh... It's a lot narcissistic, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> All right. And my fiance is just oh like, God. dude, seriously, what? I need to play that <laughs> the next time. Just... The next time you're getting down with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, and, and just because it'll be hilarious. Now, there is a... Because there... she'll realize what's happening, and I'll be like... <laughs> there is a problem. And then, <laughs> and then she'll punch you in the nose. There is a problem that the theme song's only about five seconds long. I don't know if that's... No, not that, a problem. All right, that, just making sure. That is by design. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I timed it to how long it takes me to finish, and I was like, that's how long we yeah, need to Then I done. added a second. But it's the old episode's longer version. <laughs> yeah, the one that's like four minutes long. I heard that. I heard that version the other day. It was so jarring. Like the new one is is absolutely mm -hmm, great mm -hmm. edit, by the way. Yeah, thank and you. Great edits last week. I noticed them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm good at my job sometimes. I didn't. I didn't listen to our episode. I did actually. I anyway, I wasn't about on it. I wasn't talking on it, so I didn't yeah. listen. Oh Jesus! All right, well, be that way. All right, so thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Moon Knight episode two. We'll start with you, Troy, since you weren't here. I wasn't here. Uh, I'm giving a thumbs up to this one and the last one. Are you? I'll go clockwise. D. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, I'm gonna give this one a thumbs down just because we have to go one or the other. So uh, we'll start from there. So interesting. Man. Cool, cool, Chris. Uh, I'm gonna give myself a thumbs down because I didn't watch the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means we could tell you anything happens. I am going to go mm -hmm. thumbs up, but I'm very hesitant to give it a thumbs up. Interesting. Oh, okay. I, I okay. We've pigeonholed ourselves in that everything must be good or bad because this is the internet and that's everything's the good or bad and there is no gray well, area. Well, the nuance well, is the Jeff, rest of the episode. Jeff, exactly. That's because computers are in binary. <laughs> that's and a, we're all that's robots. A good joke. Oh, and we're, a good joke. we're actually computer-generated people a, to make a podcast. That's a good joke from an actual computer. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Computer Man. Um, Stop talking. I... I liked this episode enough that I'm going to watch episode three, but I didn't like it enough to give a shit about Moon Knight. Does that make sense? Yep. So, so what's what's the general opinion so far of the of the of the podcast? We're split. You, you seem to not be into the whole show as in general. Uh, well, we're not technically split. You you gave the episode a thumbs up. I gave, you it, gave it, it a thumbs up. I, I gave, gave it, it a thumbs, thumbs down. Up. You haven't seen it, so. <laughs> No, yeah. so, for the, so this the first is a episode. two to three. Uh, yeah, but this is a. Oh, are we talking about the last episode? Last episode. I mean, or, sort of the show. No. Uh, to, the show. Well, last. I mean, we're just two episodes in. I think we'll give an overall in the show. Right. Yeah. But the, we're still a little uh, early for something like that. I mean, but last week we said it was a thumbs up all around. Uh, yep. Just because I think mainly on like Oscar Isaac's performance and just you know some well done. You know scene but you know it's it was pretty well yeah Ethan it's good. Uh, oscar isaac is a good actor that's not really a hot take uh he's doing the fake just, british accent hey, hey well yeah, it's a tepid pull that's right tepid in our pull yes. right in our wheelhouse yes we gotta make sure we, we the branding is on point um but he he's a fine actor uh the fake british accent uh from uh some british people i follow on the internet they light, fucking hate it light light is gay is <laughs> <laughs> they fucking hate it and they hate like the fake oh, london going listen on. listen they got this we got uh um, uh, Doctor Strange. One one sure. thing. One thing I I absolutely wanted to uh, repeat from last week though was when he realizes that it's Sunday, and he asks the guy, the waiter, um, you know, what day is today? And he's like, it's it's Sunday, sir. He's like, no, like no, but and, and like and and someone cut that where the the joke, someone cut that and the joke was uh, like, oh, it's like you, you know just. Saying like, oh, taking away your entire weekend. Like, if you work a traditional weekends, yeah, you mm -hmm. just like you, you think it's Friday night, and you're like, oh my god, I work in like five hours. Like, oh, because it's like 
closing yep. <laughs> place. And he's just like, he's like, it's Sunday. So, no, like, no, <laughs> just no. <laughs> like hey, when I first watched it, I, I didn't appreciate it as much as this after I had seen that. So it's worth a rewatch on that end. But um, I'm going to, uh, what did you like, Troy, since you were here last week? Uh, so far, I'm sort of into most of it. It seems like it's it's kind of doing a slower burn better than kind of WandaVision did into... This episode's not really slow burn. The last one was more of... Um, uh, but it's also like... I mean, it wasn't really slow burn. There's a car chase with machine yeah. guns. Um, uh, that was a, pace, approximately not... half of. I, I think that I'm, I'm just more of... I, I'm having a lot of fun with the show so far, and so far there hasn't been a moment where I'm just like, I haven't checked, let's put it this way, I haven't checked how long I have left to finish it yet. Right. Got so, it. Right, right, so right. Troy's a shill. Yeah. Troy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, big, that, that's, 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 big Marvel. That's exactly kind of how I feel, and I think uh, then it, it, we're probably very much on the same page with the show, where it's like, uh, whereas, like, I'm just, I, you probably, uh, I'm wondering, Jeff, if you would have given it a thumbs down, how did I give it a thumbs up? Because I think you're probably just hit or miss and you don't want to give it full credit. So, well, and that's kind of how I was. I was just like, I don't, uh, like, I liked the episode fine, and I actually find plenty of it really good. It, like, it, it, it has a lot of potential, it has great performances. I actually thought the, Layla actress is just un just uncharming like not yeah not- she doesn't really win me over and that was one of my big problems with yeah. this episode another problem that I have that I didn't see too much of last time because we only saw Moon Knight for ten seconds I hate that Moon Knight is all CG. And I hate that I, all I of agree. the enemies he fights are CG. I, I agree. Because I like agree. this is a problem that I'm yeah. having more when I watch more modern Marvel things it's, that I noticed in Spider Man and I'm noticing it more here in that when you have CG versus CG fights, they look dazzling, but the fight feels weightless. It feels uh, stakeless, mm-hmm. well, mm-hmm. and it but feels... not Spider Man, but not Spider Man because fucking Tom Holland's doing that shit as they fucking showed us uh, on all over the internet. Like, have you not seen this? No, you're right. I why did I say Spider Man? I was thinking of something. Spider-Man I mean, Spider Man has a, has a lot use... of that sometimes, but it's, yeah, all the time. They, 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 I'm not saying Spider-Man the movie was was devoid of of any sins of that. I'm just saying that like of all of them, that's probably the, not the one. You yeah, go yeah, with. yeah. I, I I probably just misspoke. I'm misremembering. Uh, no, it's like, why it's why the first half of Shang Chi is a lot better than the second half of Shang Chi, where the yeah. big dragon shows up. <laughs> right, like when you have the CG enemy versus oh, oh. the CG Moon Knight. It's like it, and especially when it goes invisible and he's fighting the invisible monsters. Yes. That was cool, but like it felt like it felt. Silly! It felt like it's, there's no stakes. Yes, here. there's no stakes there, and it, it, beyond that, it, it's it's still just this tame line Marvel. There's no up and down. It's just it's engaging enough. It's good enough. And, yes, exactly. And, and, it, and it shows enough promise to. To, to pyramid. Now, what I have liked about this is that it, nothing that I've been engaged with has been due to the promise of other Marvel shit. Yes. It's very much so contained, and I think that's what I like about it most, that it's like seems very much so its own story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, and, and, and it seems in its own ways new and different, which is cool, but at the same time, it does start to fucking lose me with these CG fights, even though... I feel like it should be better, and I feel like when they do the goddamn suit costume, uh, the Mister Knight mm-hmm. thing, which we'll, uh, which we'll get to, which is in the comics, fun it's, fact. yeah, yeah, it, it it looks more realistic and because it it's, looks, he's it's, wearing a white and, suit. And, He's I'm not like, just, just fucking, fucking CG that. mummy wrappings. Although the wrappings look fucking cool. So, all right, Chris, they look cool. You, I just wish they were done better. I wish that they would have CGI Moon Knight fight CGI Green Lantern. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> I mean, Moon. Uh, t- back back on the positive now. That I remember that movie. Moon Knight looks a lot better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, every time you talk now, I'm just grabbing the <laughs> button because there's no fucking way I care about anything you have to say from this point forward. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, hundred yeah. percent fair. So, um, so all right, let's let's run through this. Uh, episode because we didn't get a chance to do that last time and i i, I would like especially because one of us hasn't seen it i need a, <laughs> yeah. I, 
I need a synopsis. Every time he says something cool, just go, whoa! Yeah. Uh, <gasps> wow. you, but I, no think, I think he should just really run the soundboard today, like, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We start the episode uh, with something that we don't see a lot of in Marvel, uh, somebody facing repercussions of their actions. Oh my goodness gracious. Pardon? Um, So Steven gets fired from the museum for uh, the camera footage. Uh, That's another complaint. Too many Steves now. Too many Steves? Less Steves. Okay. (laughs) Name one. uh, Steven Strange. Fine. Fair. Name one. Well, if it makes you feel any better, he's disassociating. (laughs) It's true. Just wait until Steve from Blue's Clues shows up. (laughs) All right. Thank you for the tip and pull. Or no, that was the deep cut. Deep drop. cut. Um, deep cut. So Steve, uh, Steve ends up getting sacked from the museum because they watch the footage back, and sure enough, he's there destroying the museum. But funny enough, we find out all of the uh, the jackals and Arthur and all of the enemies we saw are invisible, at least to the camera. We can't see them at all. And uh, so he gets fired, and then he heads back home where he runs into Layla. It's gonna melt your brain. Yeah, and Layla, oh <laughs> Layla uh, shows up, and she's like, "What? where have you been? You can't just leave me in the dark. I'm still your wife. And he's just like, what? You, you're my what? You I don't know how to what? Okay, I, re- I regret this so much. <laughs> no, as, no, no, no. As you be, should. This will be great, I'm sure. Um so she's trying to figure out, like, why are you pretending to be some other person? And he's just, and what's with the fake accent? And he's like, I'm not pretending. This is, this is me. My name is Steven. I used to work in the gift shop until I got fired this morning. You must she, believe she me. She seems like she is remembering her lines. And then she's like, no, no, I don't believe you. <laughs> and every and I'm just like, Ugh. and then it's uh, yeah, I mean, I hate to say it, but like. You know, I mean, this is what's going to happen when you have uh, that is. I mean, how many characters do we have in this show so far? Uh, well, Steven slash Mark, and then you so have Arthur and Layla. Those I mean, are kind of the primary, that's it, right? Like, I mean, who's he talking to? The the okay, so there's the, there's the fake F, the fake police agents, the fake police agents, mm-hmm. sure. And then oh oh oh, what's his fucking name? Who's I just had him talk. Scotty Crawley. Crawley, so, he's the. Guy so um, th- this is a little Easter egg. Jesus. So the the gold the the street performer that paints himself gold and sits on the bench, he's credited as Crawley. And in the comics, Bertrand Crawley is kind of like Mark's uh, eyes and ears in the street and tells Mark what's going on as far as like the underground criminal world. So okay. this is kind of like a, an Easter egg to that. But it also might be alluding to that. Mark may have put Crawley here purposely to keep an eye on Stephen when Mark's not in control. Which, goddamn, that makes my brain hurt thinking about it because this is so convoluted. Yeah. I don't understand the two people living inside the same body part of this. Yeah, well, I, I, I mean, hope they, that gets explained. They, they, they thankfully didn't keep everybody in the dark forever, and and they did exposition dump a lot of stuff. Now, thankfully, those scenes, like this, is the thing that I, I was wondering. I was like, oh right, most of this show is. Is so engaging because it's it's uh, uh what's the actor's name uh, the main guy Oscar oh, Isaac Oscar Isaac, Oscar Isaac. Isaac uh, uh, talking to himself like it's just, and you don't even realize it because they're very different like, it really does really... make me appreciate all the heavy lifting he was doing in the sequel trilogy of Star Wars that much more oh my he's a really good actor he is very like well you could tell like that when he sees him on the camera footage. And he and he looks at the camera and he's like, "That's not me." I'm like, "No, uh, I that I that's the one time where I'm just like, I've seen some scenes like that before, whether it's a doppelganger or something else, mm-hmm. you know, it, where like that's not me." And I, I'm like, "I've nah, never it's believed clearly it. you. Like it's clearly you. like that's not him." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, that's and clearly. that's where I'm like, "Okay, yeah." And, and the I and the other line that tennis stuck out was like kind of meta like he calls him handsome yeah he, they're sitting there fighting in the storage unit later and he's just like i'm not listening to you i don't care how handsome you are and i'm just like oh that's that's funny because he's literally looks exactly like you because you but share a body hey, but he hey. doesn't self-love self-love mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i do that every day so all right so what happens so he gets th- he gets fired from work from a he gets weird... fired from work meets up with layla they're back in his uh his apartment and he's well, trying to explain well, just, just real quick like uh, uh just because it stuck out to me but like everything in this thing is sh- is shot well which i think gets it keeps it really engaging yeah 
You, and, the, and there's constant imagery. Obviously, the mirrors, right? But there's this mirror image. Is like in the HR room. He has, um, he's at the desk, and the whole it's all framed so that you see uh, uh, Steve and Mark in, in like in in the, the desk yes. as well. Like it's all everything is shot like that. Uh, uh, so that's much a wonderful like, point. Always like reflective, where there's oh, and and it's sometimes it's, it, it it blends so seamlessly. It doesn't seem like it's done on purpose, but it's just there. And you're like, oh shit. Like, yep. And it's just it, it honestly just makes it better as like a as a moving drama, and that's what I think we're picking up. It just keeps it's going. And you're like, okay, okay, I'm on to the next thing. Yep. And yep, nothing yep. nothing overstays its welcome ex- except Layla. <laughs> Which little is, bit. it's a shame because she was cast specifically because she is uh, uh, Egyptian. Like she's, mm-hmm. she's. Uh, I, I, no, no, no. I get it. I, I, I understand it. It's just, yeah. It just is what it is. We'll see how it goes. But, but they seem to be centering this Kanchu thing on it. I don't know what the deal is with that. But it, it, that's another thing. Is if she is Egyptian, then seemingly was. It's starting to lean towards this idea that it will get to, but the, yeah. the Kanchu is uh, really after her, and he just got Mark because Mark sacrificed himself to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's my guess, and yeah, for the big reveal, which makes me upset because I'm like, okay, I, I think they're gonna go for that, but I, but I've been surprised a few times with where they didn't go with things. So I I I, I like if you're surprised because you're the only one who really knows Moon Knight beyond no, the show. I, I don't know any beyond of the, the storyline except for like very broad. Troy, you're you're the big comic guy on the show. Uh, do you know anything about Moon Knight prior to this? Uh, I know I I know sort of the the general concept again, but I know the meme of him demanding money ra- from Dracula. Random bullshit go. Yeah, also the random bullshit go meme. But I, I I've never uh, now, now here's a question to you specifically, Jeff, and this is this is more of this is not. So much a serious question, but it is something that was in my mind. Go for it. Uh, uh, did you go into this with basically everybody? I feel like everybody when they first describe Moon Knight, they're like, "Ah, oh, it's the Marvel wanted to do Batman." And then as I was watching the second episode, I goes, "I went, he's not really Batman." Like, well, he, they've like, no. they've they've played down that element of it completely because yeah. the. His costume, the way they're doing it here. First of all, I don't know that it's ever formed on him ever before. Uh, it's I, always been something he's changed uh-huh, into. Uh-huh. And and this is and, and man, I don't know if we're gonna get through all of this. We, we do the whole the stop and go, but I'm fine but, with that. Yeah, but yeah, but uh, but I mean, let's we could just jump over a bunch of chunks. Hopefully, it will there's work, a lot but, that I can just kind of yada yada over. But like, if we if do we want to jump to like? Uh, I mean, because well, before because I, I do want to highlight this. Give me the next time b- before because I want to highlight cause... the Batman thing because you brought this up. I've been told Moon Knight is Marvel's Batman, and that's what kind of made me excited for this show. I saw Oscar Isaac got cast, and I was like super hyped for this show. And then I started watching it, and I was like, "What the hell?" And now that I'm looking into it, I realized uh, why people tell me this. So in the comics, Moon Knight has no real powers. Mm-hmm. He's just kind of a dude out for vengeance, but his vengeance is blessed by and spurned by the moon god, uh, Khonshu. So there's a little bit of Egyptian uh, folklore in there, but it's mostly just a dude in a suit with a cape beating the fuck out of people well, in the name of vengeance. A, a lot of that. Most of the, a lot of single storylines are generally that. But yeah. Like, but there's like, an overarching but thing. But the overarching part is... And and it's not right that he doesn't have superpowers because Kanchu is like the the whole storyline that that Kanchu that he told about uh, his deal like he was dead a, he, he's a corpse mm-hmm. and he makes a deal with Kanchu, like that is his his that is Mark Spector's that is backstory. the original backstory yep that he is a mercenary he dies in front of Kanchu and or he does, somewhere and he and he makes a deal to be his avatar. Um, and that was what I explained last week, I think, as like my understanding. And that's, I was like, okay, they're going with that yep. version of it. And that seems to be how it's playing out. He yeah. was dead. Kanshu needed a pawn, and he picked this dead guy. So, so now they're in like perpetual servitude. Kind of like how uh, Ghost Rider made a deal with the act- literal devil yeah, so, to save his dad. So the other part of this is that... So that part was always there, but... It was less clear, like where he, like so. Maybe he gets the costume initially from that, but like afterwards, he's more of a, like this is a Batman costume. Like he looks like in the nineties, he's drawn like a traditional superhero with like 
Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like everything, like all the tights. The and, muscles and, 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 and the just, tights. Yeah, and so the it's just like he's in. Bad ankles if you're Rob Liefeld. He's Life clearly Elf. in an outfit, no different than Daredevil or Batman or any, like he's just in, an, he's in a suit. Yep. Like, so what they never convey that it's like, you know, ribs. Now you get into like the, the yachts and like uh, uh, these years. He starts to be more spawn like, has like more rags, more mummy like, because they're playing that up, the eccentric mm-hmm. like kind of. And, and he's been drawn by different things, so they they take on different. And, and as he got more, they lean into the split personality thing. So like, it, it's like a whole like it's a he's a massive a character, honestly. Like he's like all over the board. So yeah, at times he was like that, and yeah. Yeah, at I one also point, that was uh, an act description that he's. Like, I don't know if this is true, and I should have researched it before I said anything. But apparently, his right, like the head writer for Moon Knight, kept getting changed like every couple years. There was mm-hmm. never really real consistency right. the way a lot of Marvel properties had. So Moon Knight has just kind of been fucked over again and again. But he seems to have a very strong fan base. Everybody loves him, and uh, he's you know. a great aesthetic. He's a great visual. We discussed uh, last time, you weren't here, Troy, that he was supposed to be introduced in season two of The Blade Show back in 2003, Mm. but then Blade got canceled. So they've been trying to put Moon Knight on the screen for Mm. fucking almost 20 years. They've been trying to do this. So Uh, I'm starting to think, uh, you know, that he really, they really should have went with a traditional hard costume, but maybe the white with... (sighs) I'm hoping they do like a Green Lantern and they learn from this. And then when Moon Knight makes an appearance in the actual like big screen on like a movie or something, it is a physical costume. More akin I to mean, like what Tom what'll probably is. happen is they'll just toss a lot more money at it and you won't notice it as much. Yeah. Maybe. That's that's the other But I thought these mo- shows on Disney Plus for Marvel, I thought they had oh, they, checks. they still have crazy budgets. It's just not an it, Avengers movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's just true. And it's they need true. to stretch that budget out over a bunch more hours. Yeah, yeah that's fair. That's mm-hmm. fair. But anyway, so, just so was, a, yeah, what, plot. What is it? Uh, they get back to the apartment. He gets fake arrested by two cops that are really just interested in uh, the scarab that he has that Mark uh, found and then uh, buying a dime for every time someone was just interested in my scarab yeah for real right Uh, and then he's he's getting arrested they're talking about his past crimes and apparently how uh, Mark Spector killed a bunch of people execution style in Egypt years ago Uh, they say uh, the file name is 1975 which is the year Moon Knight was introduced a little easter egg there Um, and then the the cops take him to this little neighborhood and they leave and leave him alone in the car. He has a conversation with Mark, and then uh, Arthur shows up. Arthur opens the door and he's like, "All right, clearly you are not Mark." And now I've pre- I've it's been proven to him because he was listening in, and he's like, "Cool, I'm gonna try to win this guy over." You, I you're Lebowski. You're the right Lebowski <laughs> this time. You're the Lebowski, Lebowski. Uh, and then it. It's Ethan Hawke does some amazing fucking acting here, but he takes Mark, or I'm sorry, he takes Stephen through this little town that he seems to be like in charge of, where he's kind of flipped it from a slum into this thriving community of people sharing resources and recipes and being good bros and good humans to each other, and they all strive to learn three languages. He casually speaks Mandarin with like a little the, girl. This is his this is his cult programming uh, uh, it portion feels of it. Very where he's just like, ah, let's love bomb you in our uh, compound that I have together. Yeah, and he and he takes uh, Steve into a restaurant, and he's like, you're a vegan, right? So am I. The lentil soup is amazing. I made it myself this morning. And they sit Fuck, down. I love lentil soup. Speaks, Me too, man. Speaks Mandarin with somebody who works by. Yep, yep, we yep, exchange yep. languages. We're, it's fucking classic commune. This is awesome. It's We're classic all great here. commune stuff. Uh, uh, not... Scientology. I don't know why you would say that, Troy. You I didn't should... say anything about Scientology. You just... it's, enough... it's a lot more like improv comedy, yeah, but definitely not Scientology. The Scientology, Troy. Yeah, come okay. on. Leave, leave, leave the Scientology stuff at the door. We're talking about cults, not Scientology. Can I talk about Scientology if Tom actually makes it into Doctor Strange? <laughs> yes, uh, go for it. Then it'll be relevant. Iron okay. Man's a Scientologist. <laughs> oh, I actually wanted to bring that up. Do you think the Oscar Isaac performance of Moon Knight will shape the character in the comics similar to how... RDJ has shaped Iron Man. So I don't uh, know how Moon Knight acts in the comic uh, necessarily. He could yeah, already it, act it, like it, that. Maybe. Very well. Very possibly. because Only because this is a really good character performance. And it... I, I mean, I have a lot... Like, the neat thing about this show is going to be the interesting ways they could take the character. And mm-hmm. again, that's... Unfortunately, again, looking forward to like po- to potential as opposed to execution. 
Um, but at the same time, it's like, but he, but it's really good acting and really like, I mean, he, like like I said, it's either either it's either uh, uh, Oscar Isaac and Oscar Isaac or Oscar Isaac and Ethan Hawke, and then you get like the the English actors crawl who played Crawley and the uh, the her, the boss character. Donna, and, and, yeah. and they were good little bit characters. And it's just like, otherwise it's just uh, Oscar Isaac talking to the guy who doesn't talk back, the gold guy statue. Mm-hmm. And it's just him talking to himself. Like, it's just, it's just Oscar Isaac talking or to Oscar people. Isaac. Him talking it, to Oscar goldfish. Isaac talks to people. Yep. Uh, and himself. Uh, so, Oscar yeah. Isaac gets coffee with celebrities. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, but, but what I'm... Yeah, get, get to the next part here. because uh, th- th- This is the big turning point so. in the whole bit. So they're sitting down eating their soup, and Arthur tries to explain to Stephen that he is a servant of the goddess Amit. And Amit um, is more about killing the guilty before they've committed a crime, whereas Khonshu is more about vengeance and getting justice after the fact. So why would you wait until he, after the crime is committed and the wrong happens? She's trying you to minority report people back literally. to Tom and Cruise. He's also, I can talk about Scientology. And they now. also reveal some of the mythology here that he apparently used to be the Moon Knight. Or yes, the, he used the, to be the, a servant of Khonshu. He doesn't Khonshu. say Moon Knight he, says, he also says that an, a newt or whatever, a newt, Amit. Anu, yeah, um, uh, is, Amit. Amit. Amit, Amit is the Amit. um, he's he's the I, I guess he's like the second avatar right now of that one. But he said like the first avatar betrayed them. He said this is the first episode, um, with some theories that that might be Kang, uh, maybe Kang, the goddess but anyway, Amit. But like, but uh, but either way, uh, uh, that that yeah, that uh, there's also the statement that yes, yeah, so he used to be uh, supposedly. Mm-hmm. You know, but but the way he talks, it seems to be, but that could also be a lie. Could be. Um, but now, but also that the Moon Knight or Khonshu is like all the other gods turn their back on him, or the, he's ousted, or he's rejected. Yeah, he don't tried recognize to recognize him. They give him swirlies and the I god yeah. <laughs> they, I, see, I was confused. That's they yeah, that was the vibe. It was like dude. Hard to nose. give swirlies to a god that has a giant like it's a bird big toilet. skull for big a head. toilet. Okay. Yeah, Choo Choo Cam Sam from Mother Bagram. <laughs> yeah, he really does. Um, but then his Steven, head comes off, though. Steven, in a little like character development bit, shows that he's actually like way more intelligent we've, than we've given him credit for. Right. He's like, but wait a minute, wouldn't that mean killing children before they've grown right. up? Because you're judging them for a crime they may commit in the well, future. Right. And, he's, and then he and then he, he he counters really. He's like, oh, I'm glad you brought that up. And then like he's like, you know. Uh, uh, would you, if you have a, a, a severed arm, uh, do you uh, that you have to cut off? It's a gruesome, yes, but it, it must be done. And he's like, you're comparing children to a set to like a, a gangrene arm, right, like, or something like that. It was just like, no, that's not the same thing. Uh, which, which I think I- exactly like is that this is where I feel like they they zig sometimes. Where I think they're gonna zag. Where I'm like, I don't want to follow this character, Steven, if he's spineless, if he has mm-hmm. no redeeming qualities of like, you know what, he is. Smart in the uptake, he's not going to be convinced by like philosophical bullshit, um, you know, l- like because you can talk down to that any way. Just be like, no, I'm not down for killing kids, which is exactly what he says. He's like, no, nah, I draw the line there. Sorry, easy, yeah, easy, it's no, easily. dude. Like, I don't care how cool your shit is. Anyway, cool scene. Yeah, and but, then Layla yeah. shows up and fucks and all fucks shit everything up. up. Layla shows up because she's trying to get him out of this, and she's like, "I have the scarab. Here it is." And then she like t- she tells Stephen like, "Get get the suit," and he's just like, "The, the what? I don't. I, I I'm Stephen. I don't have the suit. What?" And Layla's like, "Fuck it." And then they just like run away while uh, Arthur like summons another fucking jackal thing using this staff that allegedly has a sliver of the power of uh, Amit. Uh, but it's still way there's, more than you could ever believe. There's so so all this CGI is bad, except there's one point where you see the jackal coming towards them, and it actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, Le, there's one. You guys, I know what you're talking about. I can one see one shot, it. and I'm like, oh, it looks pretty terrifying and cool. And they, and they did, that editor it was, did it was, his job. It, it was a, everything else. The the purple Doctor Strange kind of. Yeah, energies. he makes like a portal in the ground using the staff or some shit. Looked I don't very, know. looked very like Buffy the Vampire Slayer late nineties. Like, like I mean, it also look. It's also revealed to us at this point that Layla cannot see the jackal, but Stephen slash Mark can, which seems really odd. Well, he's the Moon Knight. He's the Moon Knight, sure. The fuck, man. Yeah, I guess so. He's got God powers. 
it seems it's it's weird and maybe it's just because weird to me because i've never seen this trope played out before but like the fact that the villains can only be seen by like the main character and the guy who summoned it like that these monsters well i think it's supposed to be anybody who is sort of directly tied to the gods that Mm-hmm. are fighting in the okay. show. Yeah, so I, I'm so everybody in that village could probably see it. They yeah. start to run away, they get blasted out of the the Yeah, window. they they're running away. They're high, they're stuck in like a high room in the uh, the building and uh she's trying to beg him to like let Mark take over and get the suit out and Steven says I can't do it. I I've seen what Mark is capable just, of. Uh, He's is she, a killer. Is she saying to take him out? I don't think she even believes him at this point, but uh but I, I, she I think might not he, believe him, but she's saying he's what he's probably arguing Mark in the mirrors and shit is probably saying like let me out I yep, can help yep. us. Yep, yep. Mark keeps saying and let me saying, out. You I need gotta to do put this. on the suit. You gotta send the suit. And, and Stephen says I'm never letting you take over again after what you did because he saw the atrocities uh, that he did where he was like executing people at this archaeologist dig site looking for the scarab. And he's like, well, clearly this Mark guy is bad news. I'm never letting him take over. I'm gonna stay in charge. And then this is the scene where he's just like, I'll do it. No big deal. And he's falling out the window and he's like, suit, suit, suit. And there he is as Mr. Knight. And he's in this like white three piece suit with the the mask. And he's just like, oh, look at this. Look, look at me. I look great. I'm I'm the fucking. It's okay, fucking ridiculous. So, okay. So the the Mr. Knight persona is apparently and I don't and I really don't know this character at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, except for what I've read, her whatever, uh, but I haven't read the character storylines or whatever. Uh, he's apparently a Warren Ellis creation, which is always Warren Ellis awesome. and Declan Shalvey. Warren Ellis is uh, has some amazing comic stories out there, uh, some of the best ever. But he's also very controversial. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he's also apologized a lot for it. But I, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh! I thought you meant Mr. Knight was controversial. No, 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 no. Like, Warren, w- Warren Ellis. Uh, anyway. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Anyway, don't great, get it. Great writer. It's because the suit's uh, cashmere. Yeah. So, it's so Mr. Knight though. was apparently this extension, much more recent uh, version, which a lot of people liked. It's great aesthetic, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. This this suited up character. Uh, but he's more. He was more of just like, uh, Mark Spector, Moon Knight, going crazy like some. Sometimes he's not Moon Knight. Sometimes he's Mister Knight, and he's kind of a more of a mixture of like his Mark Specter millionaire character and his his uh, like and Moon Knight. Like he's so he's like a businessman, but a Moon Knight. <laughs> right, right. And, and I, that's like the premise that I get. He, apparently, he's much more kind of like. 40s gangster kind of ish, or like, or kind of classic, uh, you know, more of a boxer esque kind of persona and stuff like that. But so he's arguably less powerful, but he has a little bit of moon in him. But he says like, I'm more reasonable, and he's kind of slick, like that. Like he's kind of like that. Mm. Um, so he's a different customer, and he's fucked up in different ways. So he's kind of more like comical than the Moon Knight. The Moon Knight thing is very like persona is very like vengeance, vengeance type of stuff. And this one's more comical. Like he'll like I think one panel that I did see was when like he does see like a some assassin, you know, and it's like they're having a model like a the reveal scene where it's like, so you're fucking here to kill us. Aren't you? And he's like, ah, oh, fuck, you did it. You did know, didn't you? And he's like, "Yep, I know." And he like throws something at him, and he immediately the the assassin kind of like immediately throws his thing and like blocks with it. And Mister Knight's like, "Nice, like, <laughs> like, like, like that." He has that persona, like that's yeah his character in a nutshell. Like, like he's kind of like, "Ah, oh, fucking that was that was badass." Yeah, but like you know, kind of in a classy businessman way. I don't know, a weird creation that's wholly original. This is not that. This is, I think they just condensed this to be like, okay, we have Steven, we have Mark. He's the, yep. he's the, uh, right. Steven's we have a, Moon we have a second he's guy. He's Steven's, Steven's Moon Knight, right? Like that's yeah. his version of it. And I, I think they'll probably implement a lot of that stuff. I think you started to see it with the boxing. Right. And I think you started to see it with like the, um, like he's, he is a little bit like we was talking in that last scene with, uh, what's the character's name uh, that Ethan Hawke plays? Yeah, he, oh, oh, Arthur, uh, Arthur. Arthur. When he's talking with Arthur, like he is more savvy, right? Like he can kind of talk as, you know, he can hold himself in an argument and it's it, like more. And I think like that will be amplified by his um, getting more used to being in the Moon Knight persona if he 
you know, regains it, which mm-hmm. I imagine he will. Yeah, so uh, Mr. Knight tries to fight the jackal, but the jackal is kicking his fucking ass and also kicking Layla's ass because she's trying to fight it too. And then uh, he's like leaning against a double-decker bus and Mark is just like, dude, you really need to let me take over and kill this fucking jackal. And eventually Stephen's like, all right, fine. Mark takes over and the Mr. Knight disappears. We get the full mummy wrapping CGI bullshit. He ends up killing the jackal, but... The, the formation looks eyes. cool. I'll keep I'll, I'll keep giving it the the the, the coming on of the yeah, the uh, wrapping is like is, engulfing is, is his great. face as his eyes go glowing white. Like but that looks they fine. Could just find a way to mesh that with the real a real version. Yeah. Then you do a cut and then you put him in a real suit and then you continue the fight. Capes just don't work in real life, especially a white one. That or just have Oscar Isaac summon the robes to him. You know, like a fucking magician. Yeah, have him do, <laughs> have him learn magic. Have him make a deal with a real Egyptian god. How hard is this, people? Yeah, Just yeah. Disney. Fucking, you're Disney. You have Disney. you can have the money money to get a you real Egyptian god. You have enough money Disney, to invade me, Egypt. Disney, can I talk to your uh. manager? Can I talk to your manager? <laughs> Disney. <laughs> Disney, can I talk to Mr. Bob Iger real quick? Um, I'd like to talk to the mouse. I'd like to talk to the mouse. <laughs> and he's suing us. <laughs> oh dear, look at that. Um, but. What Mark. do you mean I don't have a social security number? <laughs> <laughs> Disney probably could do that. I don't exist. Disney can make you disappear real fast. Um, but Mark kills the, the jackal and then realizes, oh shit, the scarab is lost. And then Layla sees Arthur pick it up, which is what we were trying to not do the whole time. Because the scarab is a compass and it points to Amit's tomb which is where they're both trying to get to for some reason, but we got to make sure the good guys get there first because that's, you know, the plot of every show slash movie like this, right? And uh, then Khonshu shows up and has a conversation with Mark, and he's just like, uh, look, dude, you I, fucked up. I own you. Yeah, I own you. You were nothing but a corpse when I found Peach. you. You're going to serve you me. nothing but a corpse. F. Murray Abraham is the uh, the voice here. Um, really? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I, I like what they're doing with it. It's a, I, I definitely feel like from what I know of Conjure, that definitely kind of, I was like, yeah, it feels right. I was like, yeah, he's kind of a weird old dick. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like and and he's only bullying people because you bully after you've been bullied and all the other gods sort of all the god yeah. lockers yeah, yeah. they were shoved <laughs> into the god lockers what listen it's trickle down bully listen i mean yeah. it was probably <laughs> trickles down from the highest point <laughs> i mean so reagan yeah nice uh, so mark is about uh, the objection also, gods <laughs> also um I, I i thought this was of note uh mark specter is canonically jewish uh, so one of the uh, Sparingly few uh, Jewish uh, uh, characters uh, in comics. Oh, neat. Yeah. So, cool. Just some rag. Thanks. Thanks for the fun fact. Fun fact. Genuinely. I had fun. Uh, but then... Uh, also, the, it works with the Egyptian. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah no, we got, we got that. And so uh, we, we also learned that the only reason Mark is the Moon Knight and why he's so determined to keep being the Moon Knight, even though he seems to have a very uh, combative relationship with Khonshu, is because if he ever decides to stop being the Moon Knight, Khonshu will pick his wife as the next uh, avatar. And he kind of lords that because if over he doesn't Mark. have an avatar, Khonshu can't come. Okay. Uh, Gonshu kind of lords that over Mark, and he's like, you can he's, leave whenever he's you got want. A, he, he only has a crescent. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got to can... get that. He doesn't have a full moon unless he's got No, 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 no. It's not he's a full like, moon. He's like, yo, I'll, I'll make your wife mad at time, motherfucker. Does, <laughs> Kanch, yeah. does Kanchu have a cloaca? He's a big bird, whoa, right? Whoa, whoa, what? Whoa. He's Keep, a big bird. What? what? Birds have cloacas. Damn. Clo- yeah, why are you talking about a cloaca? I'm so, I, I Damn, didn't think it was going to be that controversial. I don't know what it's that a is. one stop hole. That's why he's a controversial is. character. Cloaca. What's a cloaca? It's it's like it's bird like a hole. It's like a bird. Jesus! I was right to be upset. <laughs> it's like a bird butthole dick. Thanks. Vagina. They're all one. Sorry, it's, audience, for your ears. Reptiles and birds kind of have one hole for everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not. That's not. That's that's what a. You you're mean? thinking of a sarlacc pit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think okay. that. Kanchu I don't think that's has right. that. <laughs> All right, it's over. Everything. What is that? That <laughs> no. Okay. Anyway, so so uh, Kanchu says this you is leave. next. That's next week on Moon Knight. Yeah, next week on Moon Knight, we learn about his one. <laughs> Actually, hole. I have a cloaca. Random <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> he throws cloacas. <laughs> oh God. 
<laughs> Khonshu says you can leave whenever you want. You might not like my next choice. Blah blah blah. And then uh, he says they they, they, they got to find the scarab. So Khonshu's like, we gotta go. And Mark's just like, where? And he was like, where do you think? And then we strip see- club. <laughs> <laughs> <It's-> <laughs> They're like, just, like uh, yeah. just just a uh, dance music for like and then Conchu getting down on the floor. We we cut to Mark. They cut to uh, that scene from Captain America: Winter Soldier where the guy's oh, dancing yeah. and the uh, Conchu's doing it now though, and he's like, <laughs> and then uh, just dance, and then uh, Night of the Roxbury little montage, and then Egypt. Yes, uh, <laughs> Mark's in Egypt now in his little hotel room. We see the pyramids out the window. That's why that's- he's hungover. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's kind of how the episode ends. We also get a little uh, they insight. Cut, they cut that scene. Like, they, they they cut the interlude. They just went straight to Egypt. They cut it completely. Yeah. We get a little insight into um, the the dynamic between Mark and Stephen because when Mark takes over, he has this conversation with Mirror Stephen, and Stephen says, "This feels terrible. Is this what you feel like?" Oh and yeah, he was like, in a sunken place. Yeah, he's like, "Is this what it feels like for you?" And he was, and Mark's like, "It gets easier. You'll be fine. Just breathe through it." And Stephen's like, "No." Oh, this is garbage. I'm never ever gonna give you a moment of peace. I'm going to be up your ass 24 seven. You need to give me control of my body back right the fuck now. And Mark's just like, no, I got work to do. You're gonna stay put. And they're having this little like lovers quarrel spat bullshit going on between Mark and Steven. So it's it's I, th- there's I need- a lot of nonsense going on that I'm not yeah following 100. percent But I'm on I'm on board. I'm here. We'll see what's happening. I need uh, more. Exp- I need, like they did a good info dump in this episode, but I'm I'm I need I'm ready. More. I'm re- no, uh, it's not that. I j- I'm ready to just follow the plot, like readily. Like I right. don't want to. I, I'm ready for the mysteries to be over. Like wait, what? I need to know the relationship. Like what? Just tell me. Okay, were you were you disassociative? Like before, Conchu, is this something you've always lived with? What was the show me the scenes that you cut out of the first episode? Yep, right. Like yeah. show me that stuff and the and the six months before it or whatever, where he's I, setting up this light. Like wh- how is Steven exist? Like what is it, 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 did Mark give this over when he died? He, clearly, he had this other life. Is Steven a was Steven always kind of half there? Sometimes that like I, you get, I get the idea that like since Conchu's been a part of it. Uh, the Steven persona seems to have grown, like, grown more powerful. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that's what he had to, like, that, like, that evolved, and, like, maybe that's why he broke up with his wife, because, like, he was further disassociating, but it seems like more because he went with Conchu. Well, so in, in the first episode, doesn't he talk to his mom at some point about the date he was going to go on? Well, I think that's all he part of it. He leaves her voicemails. Right. That's the other, that's the oh, other, okay. he never gets a call back. That's the other thing, and it seems like, again, this clearly seems like something his whole life seems more like something that, that Mark set up for the Steven persona. But again, I don't, I need to just know the motivation for why would you do that? How did that work? And then let me follow the story that's going on now, because Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to worry about like, what is, what is going to be revealed or pop out of nowhere? Or like, what is your backstory? I get it. It, It's been crazy. Cool. We're on the same page now. Back it up. I, uh, that better not be like an incredible amount of more storytelling. I think one episode right now that just shows us the other. Like I thought we were going to get this episode, um, which is just a, 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 and I get maybe why they didn't do it now because two episodes that just show the different sides of the same story is pro- in a row is probably right. And yeah, there ways have six or eight, six. So, yeah, that might, so, be, that might be an episode three, maybe episode four. So uh, yeah, I think if I think doing much, it at all. but that's where I'm like, I hope they do three, because so, uh, I just want to get on the current page of yep. the story and just follow it. Because I'm like, I'm engaged with that. Like that's fine. Uh, but I, I agree. The the CGI is, uh, uh, and it, and it does hurt some of these fight scenes. So I'm hopeful that we get more of the mis- Mr. Knight or some kind of com- maybe it, maybe they combine. At the end, and we get a more down to earth costume. <laughs> Honestly, that or that's something. not. It's that's just Moon Knight with a clip on tie. Well, I'm I'm wondering if it's just no. It's just it's a combination of both. It's a real world, but Moon Knight. Yeah, it's the it's the caped character, but it's it's fabric. You know, maybe that's the mix that the, because they 
seal the personalities by the end. Yeah. Uh, do you guys? Are you? I mean, what is? Anything else to say about this episode? I don't. I, that's pretty much it. I'm. I'm very, very. Uh, it's intriguing, but like, there's nothing standing out that makes me go like, "Yo, what? Like that was cool, or what the fuck was that?" Or right. I really enjoyed that, or I was moved by that. Uh, that's kind of lost. I understand that, and it's mainly because I hate the Layla actress. <laughs> <laughs> they need to replace Layla with just another character that's Oscar Isaac. Right, right. Could what Oscar Isaac, Isaac could only sh- Oscar Isaac? Can they get him? <laughs> they need I, like even, I think he's busy. Actually, conversation <laughs> between Oscar Isaac, Oscar Isaac, and Oscar Isaac. Uh, like, yeah, and then it's yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect, perfect show. Yeah, I guess we'll find out in the next fucking episode of Moon Knight on Disney Plus. I'll get you next time, Moon Knight. <laughs> next time. Thank you all for listening to this wonderful episode of the TB and J podcast. I'd like to thank all my co-hosts Troy Burnham, Chris Carroll, and D. Thank you all for being here, like boys. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Jeff, thank you. Thanks for doing all the editing and making me sound so awesome. Yeah. Jeff. You're not making my life easy. I'll Jeff, give you that. I know. Thank you for being my friend. That's. Mm. Jeff, <laughs> thank you for putting up with my shit. That's more appropriate. Jeffrey, thanks for getting, <laughs> thanks for getting for a like haircut. For like a solid 10 years. <laughs> thanks for getting, getting a haircut and, y- and yeah. making your, your all of you more palatable. <laughs> wow <laughs> what a backhanded compliment <laughs> jesus uh thank you all for listening to this wonderful episode of the tbnj podcast if you liked what you heard please leave us a kind review on your favorite podcasting platform and don't forget and your to, least favorite and don't forget to like you and subscribe you on youtube a, you can send a nasty review i don't care and and yeah send okay. a nasty review see just, if we fucking just, care just think how good it is to press that subscribe button yeah it's so good right pressing buttons is fun hey kiss see? it kiss it Everybody it's so much fun it's, it's great it's great that was a button he pushed. Yeah. And that's it for the show. We're, we're ending it. Jeff that's pressed a button, too. I, I pressed many buttons. buttons I like to think that our, our show is just as middling as Moon Knight. <laughs> <laughs> we have, like, Moonlight levels of middling. Moonlight? Moon Knight levels. No, we're Moonlight. Of, of <laughs> we're moonlight. Moonlighting. No, Moonlight is when they replace Starlight with Moon Knight. No, Moonlight is when Moon Knight teams up with Bud Light. (laughs) You know what I think it should be? It should be the end of the episode. Shut up, Mad Cat.